Hey, happy September 15th to you. It's Bill from HistoryHighlights.com. Let's go over to the Library of Congress and learn a little bit about William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft served as both President of the United States and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. That's pretty amazing. He was born on September the 15th of 1857 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Taft's father was a prominent Republican who served as Secretary of War under President Ulysses S. Grant. The younger Taft began his political career in Ohio shortly after joining the bar in 1880. He served in the judicial branch of government in Ohio, in the Superior Court as Solicitor General of the United States, and in the Federal Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit. In 1900, President William McKinley appointed Taft chair of a commission to organize a civilian government in the Philippines, which had been ceded to the United States at the close of the Spanish-American War. He became the first civilian governor of the Philippines in July 1901 under McKinley and continued when Theodore Roosevelt became president in September, serving until 1904. In 1904, Roosevelt named Taft Secretary of War. In this position, he played a role in the construction of the Panama Canal and in establishing a protectorate in Cuba. After serving nearly two full terms, Roosevelt declined another run for the presidency in 1908 and promoted Taft's candidacy as the next Republican president. With Roosevelt's help, Taft handily defeated Democrat William Jennings Bryan. Throughout his presidency, Taft contended with dissent from more liberal members of the Republican Party. Many continued to follow the lead of former President Roosevelt's reform policies. Progressive Republicans openly challenged Taft in the congressional elections of 1910 and in the Republican presidential primaries of 1912. When Taft won the Republican nomination from a party in disarray, the progressives organized a, a rival party and selected Theodore Roosevelt to run against Taft in the general election. Roosevelt's bull moose candidacy split the Republican vote and helped to elect Democrat Woodrow Wilson. Taft left the presidency and returned to the law, and as Kent Professor of Constitutional Law at Yale University from 1912 to 1921. Now, nominated by President Warren G. Harding, Taft served as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, his lifelong dream, from 1921 until he retired in 1930. In an effort to make the court work more efficiently, he advocated passage of the Judiciary Act of 1925, or Judge's Bill, which enabled the Supreme Court to give precedence to cases of national importance. Boy, one guy that certainly made a mark on history, President of the United States and Supreme Court Justice. Uh, that's a pretty impressive career right there. That's Taft for you in a nutshell. Hope you guys are having a great day. Get out there and enjoy it. We wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you soon.